Well, stop letting him cheat on you. Yeah, stop letting him cheat on you. You let him cheat on you. Stop allowing him to cheat on you. Don't you hate when people say stuff like that? It doesn't even make any sense. Like, how am I letting him cheat on me? What am I supposed to do? Go and beat him up to make him not cheat on me? Just to follow him around? No. Ladies, I'll explain what that's about. You've probably heard people say stuff like this, and it sounds so dumb and annoying, but I've got it figured out, okay? There's a way you cannot let him cheat on you anymore. You want to hear it? If you stop having sex with him, it's impossible for him to cheat on you. You see where you have the power there and the control there? If you decide to stop having sex with him, if and when he sleeps with somebody else, it will not be cheating on you because you are no longer with him like that anymore. You are not in a sexual relationship with him anymore. So if he goes and does it with somebody else, it's not cheating on you. It can't be because he's not with you in the sexual relationship anymore because you cut it off. See how that works? You actually don't have to do anything to him or stop him from doing anything, but you have full control over yourself. You can decide to stop sleeping with him. And then whoever he sleeps with basically turns into none of your concern. Okay, it takes a little bit of brain retraining to understand this and over time, girls, you'll get used to that, okay? It's really hard to um, not pay attention to it when, when you're doing it with him and he's probably doing it with other people or you have straight out caught him doing it with other people. That is really hard not to think about. But if you disconnect yourself from him sexually, every day that goes by that you're not sleeping with him, you will notice you are less concerned with who he is sleeping with, okay? And eventually, over a long period of time, you will not give a rat's ass who he is sleeping with, okay? See how that works? But it takes time, and you can't fall back and do it with him again by accident. You can't do that. You have to, like, cut it off and not do it anymore at all, okay? Um... And I know in like a lot of um, situations, if you're going through something like this, uh, the best option is to just leave and never see this person again. But if you're in a special type of situation where you cannot leave, maybe there's a financial situation or a marriage situation or something with your children, you know, everybody has their own unique situation. And sometimes it's not the best thing to leave. Okay, for some people in some situations, it actually makes more sense to stay. So this message I'm sending today is for the people who feel that they must stay or maybe they have to temporarily stay or maybe they're just choosing to stay. Well, if you have to stay, if you feel it's best for you to stay, but the cheating stuff drives you absolutely insane in your mind and it robs you of your of your inner peace, you can make it so he cannot ever cheat on you again. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you decide to stop sleeping with him, his sex life has nothing to do with you. Sexually now, he is a stranger to you. And his sex life and who he does it with is nothing to do with you nothing it's like it won't even exist in your world okay so that's a way 
to not let him cheat on you anymore. And I only know because I've used it in my own life. And um, it's highly effective. Talk to you later. Bye for now.